Hey everybody, my name is Bjorn Berendt, and in this video, I'm gonna show you two ways that you can use Google Docs with Seesaw. Uh, first is how it's designed to be used, where you import a Google Doc and it becomes an image that students can draw on. And the second is actually keeping the function full functionality of the Google Doc and being able to do add comments and things like that. And to do that one, we're actually gonna use a program called assignment.google.com. So let's look at the first way. So I'm going to create a new activity. Proofreading. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here and add a template. I'm going to select a Google Doc. I'm going to select from my Google Drive. I'm going to search for it. I found my proofreading. And it brings it in as a nice little image that can be drawn on. I'm going to hit check box. There it is. I'm going to call that SS for Seesaw. Save. And now I can assign this to the students. Click assign, test classroom, assigned class. Now, as a student, what I will see. Here's my activities. Here's my thing. What I'll do is I'll click add response. And as a student, I can then go down through and I can just draw. Here's my three little lines right there. My word, but that needs to be fixed. My word, like game that needs to be fixed. And once I am done and ready to submit it to the teacher, I can hit the checkbox. And now it is submitted to the teacher to review. The next way you can use Google Docs actually keeps the full functionality of the Google Doc. This one obviously took it away, but students were able to draw on it very easily. They could add multimedia. So let's look at the second way. Before I act, I create a new activity, what I need to do is I need to actually go to assignments.google.com and I create a new assignment here. So I'm gonna hit create. Uh, doesn't matter, you can keep the courses, whatever else, whatever you wanna do it. I'm gonna call it proofreading. Reading, call it drive here. In this one, I'm gonna get, click the attach button. Is it right there? Add. At this point, I'm going to click Publish Now. And what Publish Now will do is it'll take this assignment and turn it into a link that can be grabbed. So I'm going to click Share Link. I'm going to hit Copy Link. Once I am done with that, I'm actually going to go to Seesaw. I'm going to create a new activity. Proofreading. Write my instructions. Very good. And I'm going to add some follow up instructions to this also because there's an extra step that I think students really need to take. So in this one, I want them to complete the assignment from the link above. They're going to have to submit using Google Docs, uh, Google Assignments. And that will submit it using Google Assignments, but that still leaves the Seesaw application uh, activity open. So they need to do something in Seesaw to finish the activity in Seesaw. In this case, what I'm suggesting is add a template, click note, writing the word status. So what they'll do is they'll just write the word done here and hit check, check box. So let's go ahead and assign this and see what it looks like from the student perspective. Save. Click assign. Gonna go to my test classroom. There you go. Okay, let's bring the student in here. So here's the student, go back to my activities. Oop, there's a new activity in here. 
And what I'm going to do here is I don't need to click the add response yet. What I need to do is I need to click on the link, which will bring me to my assignments in Google Assignments. I can then open up my paper. And here it is, full native feedback. Uh, the way I have the instructions here, come on, finish loading, finish loading, is actually saying this, changing this to suggested edits. Now I can go through and change that to a capital S. I can fix the word game, and I can fix the word about here, and I can fix the word Nick. So I can go down through, and I'm fixing all of my um, things that need to be fixed with proofreading. There is no turn in button here, but so what I need to do is I actually need to go back to assignments.google.com and I see the assignment right here. This is the step one that I need to hit submit. Okay. As soon as I do that, it is now submitted through Google Assignments and it can be corrected through Google Assignments and grades can be added and comments can be added. Uh, works very nice, works very similar to Google Classroom and collecting assignments that way. The next place I need to go is that's step two. So step three is now what will happen, though, is in Seesaw, if I back out of here, because I submitted it there, but notice how there's still this little tiny one right here. That one means there's still an active assignment. Well, it's my proofreading. I submitted it through Google Doc. Google Assignments, but I didn't submit it through Seesaw. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do steps three and four, which is add a response, change the status to, oop, I think I have to double click there, done, click check, check. Now it is submitted to the teacher. So there's two places to submit when you use the native profile of Google Docs and using Google Assignments. Uh, but I think it works out really well for getting those, for still using Seesaw as a collaborative tool, but also getting those assignments in. And who says, you don't need, you can do something even more than done. Maybe it's a reflection that you want them to do with video and things like that. So it's a really good way to combine both the items. And you're doing that through assignments.google.com. So again, thank you very much and never stop learning.